today's video is going to be a uh, reality of like the best and worst parts of living in university halls. So I go to Lincoln University, I've just finished first year and I lived in uni halls but I'm not going to say where in Lincoln because I'm actually staying there for a second year but in a totally different flat higher up so I'm not going to say where I lived because I'm living there second year. So, so let's get started you know because these birds are going to shut up so they're just joining us in this video. It will get noisy if it's not in your flat it will be in your block or your area or even just on the street outside. But I never hit noise so I was fine. You will hear noise from other um, flats above and below. Um, we could, or I could always hear the person above me playing a basketball. I'm sure he was bouncing a basketball all the time. So, I mean, thanks for that dude, because I would always hear just this banging, like, of a ball. Like, it wasn't, like, anything sexual or anything, I could tell. But, because that does happen, but a ball, ow. He was, and that was just annoying. We used to always hear our neighbours coming back from nights out, so sometimes we'd be up at like three o'clock or I wasn't even up and I'd still wake up because they were so loud coming in. Um, and sometimes people in my flat would wake me up. Um, I mean, sometimes of that, so that is fun. Thanks for that. This next one is something that is gonna be hard to deal with if you're like, not a clean freak, but you like things a bit organized, set in their ways, I don't know. But everyone washes and like cleans their things at different times. The washing just gets a bit built up. Thankfully in my accommodation, we had a um, dishwasher. So like if things piled up, you could just shove it in there and then turn it on. But I know a lot of accommodations, most accommodations don't have a dishwasher and you have to hand wash everything. So things would just get piled up. I mean, I never actually took out the trash. I think I took it out like once or twice, which is like bad of me for sure. I would always clean the kitchen and like hoover, put everyone's stuff away, um, put it in the dishwasher, take it out the dishwasher. I would do that sort of stuff for the first semester, I wanna say. And then it got to second, I think it got to like second semester and I was like, this is not happening. Like me and my flatmate were like, we're not cleaning up everyone's stuff because they never would say thank yous. I mean, like we made a cleaning rotor, I'll say that. I, I mentioned this in the other video I did, but we made a cleaning rotor and it actually really, really helped. It benefited us a lot. Um, so. Fire drills, I think happen at the worst time possible. I think they choose to do it at the worst time. So like you're just unprepared. So it just, I think that actually is the reason. But um, I actually only had one fire drill that I was there for during uni. I think it was in Freshers Week, yeah it was. Um, but it was at like five, six o'clock, so it was mid me getting ready, I think, for a night out. But that was fine, like everyone was doing pre's and stuff, kinda. Early pre's, for sure. There has been times when I've been at home and I've had flatmates message me. And it's, it went off about three times in one week. Like, it went off at like 3 a.m. It went off at 6 a.m. And then maybe like 11 p.m. Which is, I would have been like, no. <laughs> Like, hell nah. But you won't get on with everyone, and that is like, fine, fine. I worried so much about um, making friends when I moved to uni and really, really panicked about not meeting anyone or not getting on with anyone, but the fact is that there's hardly anyone that I don't get on with, but there is, there's some people that you just think, I don't want to mix with you, you're not my type of people, and that's fine. Like, it doesn't cause any drama, you just don't mix with them, and that's that. Everyone um, is in the same boat when moving in and everyone will be nervous, everyone will be panicking, most people anyway, and everyone will be thinking the same thing as you in that, how am I going to make friends, is anyone going to like me, um, what's fresh is going to be like, I'm nervous, like a lot of people, no matter how excited they will be, will be really nervous and it's just exactly how you are feeling everyone's kind of just as awkward as you and just you kind of just get thrown into the situation but in a good way everyone is in the same boat don't worry like please don't worry because everything will be fine i promise you you'll become extremely close with your flatmates excuse me you'll become extremely close with your flatmates after such a little time um and maybe that friendship might deteriorate maybe things might come in the way 
but for the first few months maybe for the first few months maybe you will be really close with your flatmates i remember my flatmates um bake off was on and every week one of us would take that wednesday i think it was and bake something um and then we'd all sit down and have that and it'd be like a little tradition to do while bake off's on i think it lasted like seven weeks maybe six weeks whatever you do you're gonna meet people that you get along with and it doesn't matter if they're your flatmates or not because you don't really see your flatmates unless you want to which sounds stupid if you haven't been to uni or in halls but a lot of the time you're alone which is sad kind of but I would go in the kitchen and then message my flatmate and be like come see me or like you just don't really see your flatmates I don't know how to say it but you just don't <laughs> the lift in your accommodation will break matter of fact like it's just gonna happen and just you'll be walking up 10,000 steps it's just Taking the bins out are a chore. Oh my god. Like, I... what is happening in that tree? Hoovering is a massive chore. Hoovering. I only hoovered like three times in the full year, which is disgusting when I think about it. Like, my room I hoovered only about three times. No, maybe like four or five. No, four. I want to say four times because my hair, like, just kind of collected on the floor if you're a girl but my carpet was quite dark so I just never hoovered because it did never looked really messy <laughs> this is an annoying one but your water um, in your shower will go cold for sure I would like get a shower like maybe like my obviously I can get showers at different times but I'd get a shower and then like two minutes in it would go cold and I'd be like who the hell has like had a, like a 50 minute shower it's just some things like that like little things like that would like great on me i like cold showers so it was okay kinda but it's just annoying you know when you want a nice warm shower and all the hot water's gone because someone in your flat decided to have a now a long shower and the last actual point i want to say is uni halls will be the best experience ever like I can't put it into words how amazing my first year was in halls, which is probably why I'm staying there a second year because I love my accommodation and I love just living in a place where it already feels like home. But yeah, um, it will be the best experience. I can't tell you how your first year or your first year is going to go, but if you put yourself out there and don't worry about making friends because it's just going to happen, it's just something that will instantly happen and you won't even realize it but it will be excited people like it's a good time i really hope you guys enjoyed this video um i really wanted to do a little best and worst part uh, best and worst parts of living in university because i feel like it's just good to hear um and i loved these videos when i first started thinking about coming to uni etc so i really hope you guys enjoyed this one um, I will definitely do some more uni videos if you want or if this video does well so make sure to like subscribe down below because these really helped me and I know that if you're watching this you probably are going to uni and you want to know some more and I'll be happy to give my advice on things, my like teeny brain advice. I am super duper excited for second year, I can't wait for the vlogs of second year. Oh. I'm so excited. Good luck to you if you're moving in for first year as well. Like, with everything that's going on right now, I have no clue how uni's gonna be this year. I have, I have no idea, so I wish us all luck because I have no idea what it's gonna be like. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and get excited about uni, people, because it will be the best times of your life, I promise you that. So yeah, um, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. So yeah, thank you for watching.